It is not in the conventional sense of a hotel, and it's, uh, I call it, commercialized home. Throughout Africa, tourism is a growing contributor to the economy. Many entrepreneurs see opportunities in this sector, all trying to offer something unique to foreign visitors. One example we find in Ghana, where the Kasapa Center offers a unique, truly African experience. As far back 1985, uh, we've had this idea that we want to have something quite special, not the type of uh, mass tourism uh, which we actually cannot compete with in the Mediterranean. So we just have to look and then say, okay, we want to have something different from the Mediterranean. And how can it look like? And that's how we brought us back to our roots, <laughs> having a proper village setting, rural setting. What makes Kasapa unique is the traditional African look and feel of the accommodation. Guests stay in traditionally built rendezvous with only basic amenities, just like in any tropical African village. Even the toilets and showers are set up in a village-like setting. Yeah, so thus we have the urinary for male use, and then the bathroom. Uh, it's supposed to have the setting of uh, rural, uh, design, open, you can still enjoy the breeze, and then the wash hand basins here, and then we have our dry compost latrines. It looks like what a closet by doesn't. We said anything that's supposed to look different from what a Mediterranean uh, entrepreneur will be offering to Europeans, so just the contrast of it. And of course, this is what we have here, that's what we are here, which is quite easy. So we just chose this concept as an improve, uh, improvement over the, the local uh, pit latrine. The demand for ecologically friendly accommodation is on the rise. That is why Casapa uses eco-friendly solar power, has implemented waste management and recycles wastewater. We have mentioned several times that it's an eco-resort and in every sense of the word, echo. So our wastewater disposal system will also have to be eco-friendly. Here, on the very uh, earth you're standing on, it's about, the top soil is about one foot, and beneath is the fertilizer bag, so separated uh, sand getting to the stones. It's about one and a half meters deep in here. And all around there, from there, all wastewater enters this, and then comes in here, and then it's a spread by perforated pipes, into the reed bed plant. And our visitors, when they come and see things like this, they really identify themselves with it and it becomes more or less uh, uh, part of the process of making this place their home. Casapa focuses mainly on European tourists who are seeking a holiday where they can relax and enjoy Ghana's culture and nature. We are the coastline of Gomuanyanyano and that's our beachfront. On the left, on my left, that takes you to Cape Coast. That's West uh, Ivory Coast. And then, on my right, that brings you to Accra. You see that headland there? Those tall buildings there? Yeah, that's Accra. Kasapa organizes trips to local communities. This has resulted in long-lasting relationships. Tourists now support surrounding communities by raising funds for a local school. But the success of Kasapa depends on the total number of tourists coming to Ghana. And that is sometimes quite a challenge. We have to find a way of marketing ourselves. And it's not quite easy. Anybody who wants to pick our brochure to come here, has to come to Ghana, has already decided to come to Ghana. And that is not the point. The government must lead the, uh, the crusade to market itself.